Alright, hey YouTube, it's Brie Hall back with a highly requested video on my Instagram page, and that is how did I get thicker? Now, it might not appear so on camera because this is just the top half of me, but I actually did gain like 10 pounds, but it doesn't really look like it. I don't feel like I still feel like my face looks kind of the same, but definitely. Fun. <laughs> to some areas. This video is going to be in partnership with Green Chef and I'm going to get into that a little bit later. When you're getting thicker, okay. you know you're getting a little weight and you're getting a little shape to you. It's mainly about what you eat. Food is about 70% of this process. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I want to emphasize is that genetics do play a role. That's like the, the random it factor that we leave out is genetics. Personally, um, I know on Instagram I was like 41 inch hip. My hips used to be like, I want to say like 36 inches. My waist to hip ratio ever since I did get hips was like always around a 10 to 15 inch difference. That's always just how it's been. And honestly, puberty because like in my art channel, I was in high school. In this channel, I was in college. Now I'm just fresh out of college. So I'm low key like a little bit of a grown woman. So if you're in high school or something and you're trying to like get your body like this, be patient. Don't go looking for Brazilian butt lift surgery mm. when you're 16. Don't do all that. Cause literally like God sometimes just comes in and is like, Bless you with the booty, bless you with the hips. So be patient cause I'm gonna insert a picture right here of me in high school, just just for a little hope for my peeps. So this was what I looked like in high school. If I, you were to tell me back then that I was gonna have 41 inch hips, I would've been like, girl, you lying. So the next thing about this is gaining weight. So gaining weight is a large part of getting thicker, you know what I mean? But that's the thing that a lot of people I feel don't fully understand because they think that you're gonna automatically gain weight in all the right places and that plays into genetics as well knowing where you gain weight is very very important because in order to get the hips and the booty and the this and the that you're going to gain weight everywhere you might get it in your face in your neck in your arms everywhere so you gotta be prepared for that my figure was still nice while i was gaining weight and no it was not the result of going to the gym <gasps> a lot of people were like what's the workout routine i just got back into working out like about a month and a half ago so it's literally it wasn't to, due to the gym it was mainly due to food um i'm very very busy so i've been doing my best ever since january when you guys saw that I had gotten sick I realized that like family lineage I have a predisposition to uh, to issues with my kidneys and stuff like that so that just supercharged my my desire to be healthier even though I already oh, the door in the background just opened a little creepy but yeah that just, uh, that's gonna bother me hold on guys <laughs> all right but if you're busy like me sometimes you don't always have time to cook and that's where my friends at Green Chef come in. I'm gonna show you a little bit about how they can make eating healthier on the go so much easier, guys. I'm not a person you know from my channel history to just promote something without loving it. And the food, so good. But you're gonna see it in the video, so roll the clips. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company that sends the ingredients pre-measured to make delicious meals right to your door. With Green Chef, it's easy to maintain a specialty diet like I am and preferences while also exploring exciting new options. Meal plans include paleo, vegan, vegetarian, keto, gluten-free, omnivore and carnivore for this busy week's meals i chose their vegan box option though i'm not personally vegan i've graduated and gradually transitioned a lot of my pantry to vegan options and try to insert several vegan meals into my regimen every week the meal i often struggle the most to get ideas for in the vegan category is dinner so green chef definitely came to the rescue sparking new ideas for me recipes are quick and easy with step-by-step -step instructions chef tips and photos to guide you along the way ingredients are covered color-coded per recipe so organizing them in the fridge is very very easy today I'm making corn chowder with basil pesto before heading to the studio
For $50 off your first Green Chef box, go to greenchef.us slash brehaul. If you guys want to learn more about Green Chef and how you can do that, definitely check out my description box below to get $50 off your first Green Chef box. And I just told my family about it, like actually text message evidence. I told my mom I was raving about it because that chowder that I had was so good. Another way that I gained weight from cooking at home, it's gonna sound really funny, but one of the uh, things I meant about being busy is I got really a lot thicker because I was eating vegan pasta like almost, I wanna say like four days a week. Um, if you guys wanna see a recipe to some vegan pasta, I also have one of them on my IGTV Instagram if you go to my page. But yeah, and I would use lentil noodles. And if you know about lentils and beans and all that stuff, they're very, very high in like protein and different nutrients that I will list here. A potato flew around. So I was combining those nutrients along with, um, you know, a vegan pasta sauce, vegan cheese that was like made out of almond milk, all that good stuff. It was thickening your girl up a little bit. And on top of that, I said I wasn't working out. So it just, literally started going to all the areas where I gain weight. That's why I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it's important to know where you gain weight. For me, the, the thumbs up areas, I gain weight in my thighs and hips. I also gain weight a little in my, the, the bottom cuff area of my glutes. So um, what I'm gonna be working on in the gym more so is building the shelf part at the top, cause I have the cuff, but I need like it to, cause my, my jump kind of goes like, um, I, I gain it basically thighs, hips, glutes come like a little later in the game. And then, all right, so here are the areas that most people wouldn't want to gain weight, but I gain them here as well. I gain weight in my cheeks area of my face. I gain weight in my neck a little bit. And one of the areas that makes me so sad when I gain weight, it's usually in my arms. My arms look good right now because I've been literally doing planks like right around this area. Yeah, that's that's mainly it. I was not being as active as usual while consuming a surplus of calories. But the way that I was able to gain weight that didn't look like I had like, you know what I mean? Let my health go or was just eating junk all the time is because the surplus of calories I was having was from non-dairy, vegan protein milkshakes and vegan pasta and all of these things. I was also incorporating keto meals into my um, regimen as well. So that keto was high in healthy fats. So I was consuming like, tons of avocado i was i was eating avocados like every single day like a whole avocado in a salad avocado toast oh i crushed avocado toast y'all and sometimes i would just put like a little um like egg on my avocado toast put tomatoes onions all that good stuff and yeah and i didn't really watch what i ate i just chose like the better uh meal substitution for what i ate and I was gaining a lot of shape, a lot of curve, a lot of jiggle, but I wasn't gaining no toning. I wasn't getting that that curve with that nice muscle mass added to it. So that's what I'm working on in the gym now. I actually just lost a little bit of weight, so I have to now up my calorie and take even a little more to compensate for the gym. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It was completely by accident, you guys. And I don't think a lot of people will tell you what I just told you as far as gaining weight, but I literally ate what I want, but I just, oh, another huge thing. Not using anything white. I know that sounds weird, but like white bread, white sugar, excess processed iodized white salt. Yeah, basically anything like that that went through multiple, multiple processes. With fruit juice and stuff like that, I would, I've started making fruit juice. So um, I'm gonna have a whole separate video about maintaining a flatter tummy while you're gaining weight and while you're um, getting a little thick because I have a whole bunch of tips on that that are totally different. So if you guys wanna see more on that, I'll record that probably tomorrow and get that back to you guys. Also with some of my favorite juice recipes and stuff like that for maintaining my, um, my flat tummy because that's something I also struggled with was bloating while I was gaining some thickness so all right uh 
if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for supporting me and um, and loving my Instagram and giving me all the love there as well. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Alright, peace out and gang gang. Gang gang! Gang gang! gang, gang.